All right, so this is gonna be a video about finding limits graphically and numerically. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I have this example problem right here where it's the limit as x goes gets closer to one, um, x to the third minus one over x minus one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do this graphically and numerically using a TI-83 plus calculator. All you really need to do to, to do these problems is actually a calculator because there's no real showing work or anything like that. Um, just because you can graph on the calculator and you can make a table on the calculator to do it numerically. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this function as x to the third minus one over x minus one in for my y equals. So I'm gonna put that in right here. Um, it's really important to note that the numerator has to be in parentheses and the denominator as well has to be in parentheses for this calculator. So I'm gonna do x to the third minus one divided by, and then again parentheses, x minus one. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this graphically. Okay, so if you graph this just as it is right here, it ends up getting this, this whole screen right here. Um, there's not a lot you can actually see of what's going on around one. So what I'm gonna actually do here is zoom in a little bit. So I'm gonna hit window right here. So I'm gonna change my X min and my X max on this so I can focus on being around X um, as it's getting closer to one. So I'm gonna change this to zero and this to two. Now you do not have to do this. I'm just doing this to kind of show what ends up happening with the calculator. So I'm gonna go zero and two because it's on either side of the one and then I'm gonna hit zoom and then I'm gonna do zoom fit now what this zoom fit is gonna do is it's gonna change the Y so I'm gonna go back to this this window real quick it's gonna change the Y min and the Y max so I don't need to worry about changing those myself I can just hit zoom fit and it's gonna change the Y's for me and it's gonna fit nicely on the screen so there we go graph something like that and as you can see at, at X equals one so it goes zero one two Right here, there's a little hole there. You can kind of see it like skips, the line just goes and it skips at one and then it keeps going. Um, in fact, if you hit trace and then hit one and enter, it doesn't even show up with the Y value. Just nothing shows up there. Okay, and that's supposed to happen. It does not exist. If you put one into this function, you'd have a zero over zero, and it, it that doesn't exist, so it shouldn't show up on this graph. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit trace, and then hit one again, and hit enter, and then as you notice, there's nothing that's going on here. But what you can do is you can hit right with the, this right arrow here, and then it brings up a Y value of 3.0642825, okay? So it's, it's really, really close to three. And then I'm gonna go back to the one, and then I'm gonna hit left, so I'm gonna go to the left side of the one. And if you notice, it's 2.9366229. So between this number, and if you go to the right, that number, it's about three. And if you look at the graph, so I'm gonna hit graph right here to get that stuff out of the way. If you look at the graph, it goes over here, right here to this this y right here and this y value right here ends up actually being three so this kind of tells you if you just look at the graph and you go from the left to the right of that one value so you hit one trace one and then hit enter um, nothing shows up you go right think about that number then you go left look at this number it's getting infinitesimally closer to three you can look at the graph just as it is you can kind of see that it's going closer to three so you can say three is basically the, the limit for this if you want to find it graphically. Now, a little bit better way of doing it, I prefer to do it a little bit more um, numerically, is using the table um, function on this, uh, this calculator. So I'm gonna hit second table, and it brings me to a screen that looks like this. As you can see at one, as x equals one, it's an error. Okay, so the y is an error, and that, that's what should, what should happen, just as we, we saw before. But the problem with this is it just goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and if you press up, it goes the other way, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. We want to focus in on this 1. We want to get infinitesimally closer to this 1 from either side. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit second window, and it's going to bring you to the table set. It's this table set, which is just short for table setup. And you can see this table starts, so it's gonna start at negative three, it changes by one, that's why it was going from zero, one, two, three, and negative one, negative two, negative three. But what we wanna change this independent to is to say ask instead of auto. Auto is, auto is automatically putting those numbers in there. We want it to ask us what the numbers that we should put in there. So I'm gonna change that to ask, and we're gonna keep the dependent in for auto. Okay, so we don't wanna put anything for that, we just want it automatically to put, put the dependent based on what, what it's asking us of for the independent. So now we're gonna go back to the table, so second table, and it's gonna be blank like this. And this is what it's basically doing, is asking us what X do you want to put in, and it's gonna spit out a Y value here. So the first one I'm gonna do is just do one because that's what the limit is getting closer to, so I'm putting one, and we get an error. Okay, that's what we should be getting. Um, we don't wanna focus on the one, so I'm gonna hit the DEL button, so the delete button, and so it's gone. Okay, but I want to focus on numbers that are getting infinitesimally closer to this one. So I'm going to start with the left side of the one. So I'm going to do 0.9 and you get 2.71. Now I'm going to get even closer. So closer than 0.9 would be 0.99. 
I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to get 2.9701. Now I'm going to get even closer with 0 0.999. And you get 2.997. So you can kind of see where we're getting infinitesimally closer to, but not actually reaching it. I'm going to do it one more time. 9999. And then you get 2.9997. So it's getting really, really close to 3, which is kind of what we got when we did the graph. So that makes sense. Okay, now I'm going to go from the right side of this one. So like 1.1, 1.01, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one just so I have some room here. So I'm going to do 1.1, so you get 3.31. Now I'm going to do 1.01, .01, and you get 3.0301, .03 so it's getting even closer to that 3. Now I'm going to do 1.001, .01, and then you end up with 3.003, .003, and then the last one I'm going to do 1.1231, and then you get 3.0003. Okay, another important thing that you can that you should note when you're using this table, if you want it, I'm gonna delete all these right here, the 1.1s and so on. Uh, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna do 0 .99999, just put a bunch more nines in here, and eventually what your calculator will do is just round this to a three. It also rounded this to a one, but as you can see, it's actually 0.999 repeating. If you go over to the three, it rounded that to a three. Okay, so if you do put enough in there, it will round for you, but it is it is important to actually put in the pattern just in case it, it can lead you in, to an error sometimes if it does round. So you're gonna wanna find the pattern and see where it's infinitesimally getting closer to each time. And same thing with the uh, the 1.01. So you can do 1.01, you can do 1.0000, a bunch of one, zeros, and then one. And again, it's gonna round. Okay, so that's finding limits graphically and numerically using the TI-83 Plus calculator. If you have any questions on this video, let me know.